right, so question 65. Celia made a flowchart to help her find X in part B of the previous problem. She forgot to list her reasons. Finish Celia's flowchart by listing the reasons. And this is one reason why I don't like, um, why we don't really use a flowchart proof that much anymore, is because they start to get a little confusing with more information. So you guys, last unit we did a lot of like uh, four and five step proofs. Our proofs are gonna get a little bit more challenging now as you guys have realized today and yesterday. Um, so having a flow chart makes it a little bit more disorganized than a nice statement reason table. But for this one, we're gonna look at letter B here. So we're looking at this problem and we wanna show in a flow chart proof how those are congruent. And we wanna come up with all of the reasonings. So let's start with right here. So AB is parallel to CD. So why is this parallel? Go ahead and answer that question. Why is this parallel? And our reason for that is given. So we can see that AB has the arrow marks. So that was given to us that they are parallel. So next question says ABD is congruent to CDB. So tell me, how do you know this is true? Answer for that one's gonna be alternate interior angles. Okay. So if we have parallel lines, then we know that the, the alternate interior angles are congruent. Okay. Um, next one, I'll just work my way from uh, I guess backwards here, right to left. So how do we know DB is equal to DB? So DB is equal to DB. What's my reasoning for that one? That will be reflexive. And this last one, we wanna know why angle ADB, so ADB right here is congruent to CBD. So what's my reasoning for that one? It's gonna be given, so the tick marks were on the paper given to us. And so the last thing here is ADB is congruent to CBD. So how do we know that? That's gonna be angle side angle. We already wrote that down up above. And then the last thing, how do we know that AD is going to be congruent to CB? Because um, remember we know that X equals 10. So how do we know those are congruent? So we need C, P, C, T, C. Our corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. All right, nice job with those questions. All right, and you've got the homework for day three. Um, if you've got time right now, go ahead and start working on it, but I'm not going to assign the homework day three. Um, so, so far, you guys only have day two that you are responsible for. Um, you don't have to worry about day one or day three, but go ahead and do it for practice.